All right, guys. So there's one last thing that I want to do um, before we actually start moving to our production server. Uh, and so I want to enable cores. And if you don't know what cores is, it basically just allows uh, your front end to run on one domain and your uh, back end API to run on a different domain. Because by default, um, let's say your front end uh, is hosted at uh, you know www.google.com, right? And let's say your front end sends a request to I don't know, say www.yahoo.com. So let's say yahoo.com is where our API exists. Well, these are two different domains. By default, our API will reject that request from our front end. So to allow these to be running on different domains, we have to configure cores so that uh, different domains can access our API. Um, if you're running everything on one domain, then you don't need it. But um, I'm going to show you guys how to configure that real quick. It's really simple. And so we're going to use this uh, library called cores. And you'll see that configuring is very easy. Uh, first of all, uh, we import cores, and then we just configure it as a middleware. That's it. Two lines of code, and you're good to go. So here, I'm going to do an npm install cores. Uh, and so since we did add uh, a new uh, package to our package.json file, a new dependency, we're going to have to rebuild all of, uh, our image. So here, if we can do up dash d dash dash build. So that's going to rebuild the image. But remember, um, by default, when you run an up, uh, a Docker compose up when you're already up and running, uh, if you have a anonymous volume like we do in Docker Compose.yaml, and we're using that for uh, actually, where is it? It's under dev. So we have this for our node modules. What's going to happen is if we run an up when it's already up and running, it's going to use our old anonymous volume that's going to have only the node modules before we ran the up command. Uh, and so to get the new cores package added in, we need to make sure that we pass in the dash dash. I uh, actually have to figure out what it was. I have to run help to figure it out. We have to pass in the dash V. So that's going to recreate a new anonymous volume. So we'll do that. Dash V. All right. And so now if we go to our index.js, let's import the cores library. And then right here under app.enable, we'll just do app.use. And then we just pass in cores. And then here you have a config option, uh, a config object that you can pass in to kind of tweak the configuration for cores. We can just leave the default settings. And let's just test this out just to make sure. So, all right, that worked. Not sure why it took so long. And then let's just make sure we send it to users. Login and let's see if this works. All right, status success, perfect. All right, so guys, so we are now good to go to start deploying this to production. 